Hi, I'm Yuhei Kobayashi from New York Presbyterian Brooklyn Methodist Hospital, as well as a Will Cornell Medicine uh, interventional cardiologist. Okay, first of all, we didn't have that much evidence in terms of comparing three best cell coronary artery disease population between PCI versus coronary artery bypass drafting, especially in the uh, newer generation drug eluding stents with fractional flow reserve guidance. That was the original paper published in New England Journal of Medicine in, uh, last year, which was presented in TCT late breaking last year, comparing 750 patients, three best of CAD in PCI versus 750 patients uh, who underwent cabbage. And the result at the point, um, original trial design was no inferiority design, hoping PCI was no inferior to cabbage, which was not the case. So um, in this particular sub study, what we have looked at is two twofold. Number one, we first of all looked at the uh, how anatomical complexity called syntax score affects the outcome of the PCI compared to cabbage. Also, as well as when we integrate FFR information, which is called functional syntax score, which uh, by measuring FFR and then eliminating FFR negative regions, and we count syntax score again, and then call functional syntax score. And then the one of the purpose is to look at the if the functional syntax score better predict outcome post PCI compared to cabbage. That's number one. And number two, we also looked at the uh, if the post PCI FFR uh, predict the outcome of, of PCI as well as intravascular imaging guidance in this PCI cohort uh, improve the outcome of the PCI. Uh, when we looked at the functional complexity of coronary artery disease, first of all, syntax score is being shown to be predictive of outcome post PCI, but not post cabbage, which was replicated in this cohort. When we look at the syntax score, which was not predictive of cabbage cohort, the syntax score less than 22 uh, is, is very different from higher than 22 in PCI cohort. And actually, if the syntax score is less than 22, PCI even did better than cabbage. And then when we calculate the functional syntax score in the PCI cohort, uh, functional syntax score less than 22 was about 50% of population. And then the outcome of PCI was almost identical to the cabbage. So uh, the results suggest the not only syntax score, but integrating FFR and calculating functional syntax score actually captures more population, which is, uh, has a good outcome after PCI compared to cabbage. When we looked at the post-PCI FFR, if the post-PCI FFR is high, which is actually better outcome compared to post-PCI FFR is low. And in this FAME 3 study, we did not mandate the uh, measurement of post-PCI FFR, but in the future, when we optimizing the PCI with FFR, we can probably measure FFR after the PCI. And if it's low, we try to achieve a higher value, and then that may improve the outcome of the PCI. And also in the uh, FAME study, which we were criticized that the intravascular imaging guidance was not utilized very well. And then about in about 20, 12% of the cell population, either IVUS or OCT was used to guide the PCI. And in this cohort, compared to another 88% or so population, the uh, outcome of PCI was similar, irrespective of PCI was guided by intravascular imaging or not. Those are the key message. So first of all, when we encounter three vessel disease coronary artery disease population, which is anatomically three vessel disease. And then we typically calculate syntax score to risk stratify uh, PCI or cabbage is better in this population. But now um, we have FFR information integrated and we can calculate functional syntax score. By doing that, we can capture about 50% or so patient of three vessel disease angiographically do well 
after PCI compared to cabbage. So then I think in the uh, modern approach, we do angiogram and then we do physiology. And if the functional syntax score is lower than 22, I think we can tell our patient that the outcome of PCI is similar to cabbage. But if it's higher than 22, we might recommend the patient to uh, go to cabbage because this is clearly better outcome. And also post PCI in the future, by optimizing the PCI using FFR, we can achieve better outcome. And then we don't know at this point, integrating imaging in this cohort was not necessarily uh, improving outcome. But again, this was a small population which may have uh, shown different results if we have more patients who has been guided by uh, intravascular imaging. So um, first of all, in this uh, FAME3 study, we show that the PCI overall was not known inferior to cabbage. In this uh, modern technology, including um, latest drug eluding stent, also a systemic physiology guidance. But we noticed half of them, half of the three vessel disease population do similar to cabbage um, if the anatomical and functional complexity was not that high. But again, in this population, unfortunately, intravascular imaging was not systematically utilized or post-PCI physiologic assessment was not really mandated. So I think the, these are the knowledge gap and the future direction will probably enforce in this population by integrating more systematic intravascular imaging guidance as well as uh, systematic post-PCI physiologic assessment and then achievement of the uh, perfect results of the PCI, then our results, uh, our PCI results would be even better down the road.